So we're here with Lou and Scott who've constructed this uh, configuration on the out on, on the exterior of us. So tell us about the inspiration for this piece. Well, the inspir inspiration came from a, a visit to a barn demolition site. Okay. Where um, the subdivisions were kind of encroaching. This was in Markham, north of Toronto. Okay. And uh, we were we were, we were there to get some uh, wood out of the barn. So it was kind of such a beautiful um, building and such a beautiful space and it was kind of sad that it was going to be demolished so this kind of came out of it. So you decided to recreate it. Yeah and, and really it has the details of an actual barn right down to the finest of scale. It's built exactly right. as uh, a barn a hundred years ago would have been built. Uh, but we are interested in kind of like uh, changing it in a, in a way that made it something that took it away from uh, a purely kind of physical space and, and entered an imaginary realm. And, right. You know, how do you create the space of a building like that that's, that's half gone? How do you recreate that experience? You know, photography is one possibility. Right. But, but we're both uh, uh, trained architects or, or both have architecture degrees and we think about space and, and, and the idea basically that Lugo had it, it, the concept was to, to, to see how we could shrink this experience down and be enclosed by these spaces and, and, and these joints. And, and uh, the, 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 the fineness of the scale and the, uh, the kind of semi-transparency of the thing. You know, things are always most beautiful when they're half finished, I think. Right, absolutely. And you can see the structure in the joints. So how did you two come together? How did you meet? Well, we met in school. We studied architecture together and we are we lived together before that and uh old friends and also we we have a workshop together perfect and where's your workshop uh it's uh in toronto okay. west end toronto uh, uh dupont and dufferin area fabulous yeah. okay and how long have you been in collaboration together well i guess we've been working together since we were in the kensington market like working out of our kitchen 10 years ago or at least so. a decade ago maybe yeah. and what kind of other structures are you currently working at? Well, I, I, uh, I make a lot of sculpture. Right. I do sculpture and I do some design. Uh, and, and we do pretty much everything from, from lighting to furniture. Uh, and now we're we're increasing a scale uh, to, to somewhere between furniture and architecture. And, and we imagine, okay, this is not a useful object as is, but uh, we do imagine the possibility of, uh, of the scale of smaller kind of uh, pseudo buildings or pseudo spaces inhabiting existing spaces. Right. You know, just giving a, a kind of uh, a more intimate, warm, kind of uh, detailed place. So you know, cool. it, it's such a contrast in a, in a space like this. Well, exactly. We exactly. For. Some presence. And in terms of uh, how long did it take you to build this? Uh, we, I, I think it was like 100 and... 150 hours. <laughs> There's some yeah, really intricate hours. parts in yeah. the back. So was what so what was the first piece? Well, we actually did a full-scale prototype. You yeah, did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. So we tested the general scale and the space and the feeling of being in there. And then, uh, yeah, I guess the bent, uh, these, this, these, uh, this part was the first thing that was made. The frame. These, these sections are called bents, and they're the things that are made on the ground in a real barn. We're going to put up like this. Okay. So we started at this borderline. Like this. Because this is the area that you can inhabit in the place. Right. Uh, like full scale architecture. So cool. And from that side, it's. That, that's imaginary. It's space. Space. We, but it's great. It. Love the ladder. Love the flats. It's really cool. And, and that, this is how a barn would feel. Like. Absolutely. It's got. And, an, and it's a shrine. It's like a shrine to the memory of the, the barn that was demolished. Yeah. Right? It's so cool. That's great. In some ways, a recreation, but also in some ways, a, a, a system that can be used for delineating space. And, exactly. And that's so great. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. This is so fun.